Hi, this is JB Blong, and I play Alfred in Beware the Batman. Alfred has gone through radical changes with this series. Um, can you give us a little insight on uh, what, what we can expect from him and what his role in the show is now? Okay. Uh, I don't know if they're too radical. I mean, I think that's radical is a scary word. I mean, he's younger. We're earlier in the Batman story. We're, we're at a, a, a late developmental stage of Batman. Uh, so we've got a younger Alfred. We've got him with a, a more of an MI6 background. I think we've, we've sort of stressed that and emphasized that a little bit more. Uh, but I would say that the relationship between him and Bruce is fundamentally the same that it's always been. One of trust, one of compassion, a sort of fatherly, uncle-y kind of relationship. Uh, and I, so I don't think fans are going to be disappointed in that. I think it's, you know, he's still very much Alfred. Um, and I think that, that we really want to be careful to, to, to sort of maintain that. How do you feel the Arkham games that have recently become so popular influence Batman like as an industry? Well, I think, you know, it's taken things darker. Um, I think, you know, the animated side had gone into a sort of lighter vein. And I think, um, I think this brings it back to that. Um, I think, uh, you know, it's explored new avenues in terms of the technology that's available and how well you can animate. Um, but uh, the Arkham games are just, you know, they're a whole other thing. I'm doing, I, I play Bane in Arkham Origins. Uh, so I've got another another bit of involvement in the. It's been the year of Batman for me. Um, so yeah, no, it, it's a fantastic, fantastic franchise to be a part of. And then, what's it like going from a character like Bane to someone like Alfred? Really? Well, I'm very fortunate in that I, I you know, those, that's the sort of stuff I have to do all the time. Even even on camera, you know, I've I've, I've done an, I, I've only played one Brit since I moved to America. Um, so I've done a lot of Latinos, a lot of Americans. Um, so uh, I'm used to jumping around, and often in a video game session, I'll walk in and they'll say, "Okay, he's he's Greek, he's German, he's Israeli." Go, yeah. and so I've just I've sort of had to build up a sort of lexicon of, of stuff and be able to jump very quickly in between in between those. This is nice because it's a, a long-running series, and, and you get a lot of opportunities to develop the character, to really explore, you know, psychologically the depths of the character and the relationships between him and the other characters. And I'm I'm enjoying that tremendously, especially because we get to record all together as a group. Yeah, so how is that playing off the other actors in the group? I know the Simpsons actors do that, but it's very rare for everyone to be together. It is rare, it is rare. And I think it really, really helps the story. I mean, it helps, you know, those reactions happening in the moment as opposed to, you know, a disembodied voice. Um, it also gives you the chance to build those relationships between the actors. And so they're, they're, we're joking around together and we're playing together. And, Therefore, we have it, it, the story becomes you know much more interesting and varied and coloured. Uh, I would hope. Yeah. So, are we going to see Alfred out on the field? Like, what can we expect from him? Jetpacks or? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think you'll see too many jetpacks. Um, you'll see a certain amount of him out and about. Um, but I mean, it's still very much the supportive role. He's, he's very much manning the station. Occasionally, you'll see him get involved when it when it's absolutely dire and he's it, it's necessary. But uh, you're not going to see a crazed gun-toting you know, action hero in Alfred. He's not that, he's older still. He's uh, he's definitely losing his edge. And I think that's why he brings Katana into the story to get involved.